play the last song because oh, no. uh, we might play one more depends on yeah. Chad probably wants to get out here but uh, um, you guys mind if I share some stuff with you? Yes! Yeah. I'm going to uh, put my guitar down real fast. If you guys would just kind of keep it quiet for just like one second, it'd be awesome. Or just not quiet. <laughs> Yeah, that would be awesome if you guys could sit. Because I'm actually not, not going to talk into the microphone, so if I'm not loud enough, to throw something at me. Uh, first off, guys, I just just give a round of applause to Brittany. Such a, a young woman of God to be such, you know, be so on fire for him. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's really humbling to me, and uh, I would hope that you ladies that are out here would uh, use her as, as an example. And uh, can I tell you what? She's been through a lot of crap. I mean, a lot. There's a lot more than what she says on stage that she's been through family issues and whatnot. But you know what? She still surrenders her entire life to the Lord, and that's awesome. You girls need to look after that. That's amazing. <laughs> guys as well. Because guys, we're the ones that are the idiots on the side, right? <laughs> yeah! 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 So, tonight, uh, I just want to talk about uh, one simple word. <laughs> and that word is freedom. And how big that word is and how <laughs> how amazing it really is. You see, there's a lot of uh, people, you don't have to show your hands, but you know, if you're if you don't know the Lord, or maybe this is the first time you've heard of him, maybe you've heard of him at another show or at some church that a friend's invited you to, I don't know. But you don't know him yet, because you're you're not sure if you really wanna wanna step out and you really want to do that. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, and you've heard this all night. But I'm going to say it again, because it's true. You guys, accepting the Lord into your heart is the most important decision you could ever make. It's the most meaningful one. Do you understand that? That's bigger than your wife or your future husband. That's bigger than the college you're going to go to. That's bigger than anything. Why? Because it's freedom. Accepting the Lord into your heart is total freedom. Now, what does that mean? Well, basically how you do it, it's very important that you do this right. Number one, you have to be sorry for your sin. Not even literally, it's called repentance. It means feeling bad for the crud that you've done. Because I'll just be honest with you, if you don't, then you need to check your heart first. <coughs> That's where it starts, guys. It's feeling bad for the stuff that you've done. You know what? I do. It breaks my heart that I would betray my Heavenly Father, the one who's given me a breath to wake up with every single morning, a shirt on my back, shoes on my feet that I do not deserve. No, my mom and dad didn't give that to me. The Lord, some of it, yeah. You know what? It was because of the Lord. Bless them to be able to bless me. Yeah. That's awesome, guys. Once again, that's what freedom is. It's freedom to be able to love one another with that love that only Jesus Christ can bring. Some of you that don't know me are like, this is silly. You know, I don't, I don't really, it's just love and blah, 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 it's a relationship. No, it's so much more. It's eternity. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Chew on that for a minute. It's eternity with Him. Like our song says, you may as well hang yourself from a power line if you're not going to accept Him because you know what? You're going to go to hell anyways. And I don't want to see any of you guys go there. I can't make you accept Him. I can't do that. But I can be an example to you. We can be an example to you. See what a life with Christ is really like. 
I mean, you say it ain't all it cracked up to be. We well, you know what? Those awful so-called Christians that gave you a bad example, forget about them. Yeah. Forget about them. Those are not Christians. Anybody can call themselves one, but not just anybody can live like one. Okay? Amen. You know what? You can do it too. It's simple. No, I can't promise you that crap is gonna, not going to happen. It will happen. But you know what? You have a strength and a compassionate God who's going to be there right in front of you to reach out and hug whenever something cruddy does come along. And it's that strength that's going to pull you through. I truly believe that tonight, this has been on my heart all stinking week, guys, that there's someone in here tonight that's been dealing with suicide. I don't know if it's one person or two people or several, but there's somebody in here tonight who's been thinking about it lately, who's been deciphering it or has attempted it. Whoever that person is, I want you to hear this. That you're more than that. You are more than the standard that this world has set for you. That your so-called friends have set for you. You are more than that. You are called to something higher. A higher standard. Are you guys with me? Yeah. yeah. See, I want, to, I want to read this scripture to you guys because it's awesome. And this is out of 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Verse 17. It says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. All this is from God, who reconciled us to himself through Christ Jesus and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. It's freedom. Once you accept him into your heart, you become one with him. I tell you what, guys, there's nothing that compares to that feeling. There's nothing that compares to the overwhelming love and the compassion that you feel. Because that's exactly what God is. He's compassionate. But you know what? And I've said this before. I'll say it again. He is so stinking jealous for you. You have no clue. He wants to have a relationship with you so bad. We don't even under, like. I don't even understand it. I don't even understand why he loves me the way I do. What he does. Because guys, I'm I'm awful sometimes. I'm human. Here I am. You see me. This is me, guys. But you know what? I don't have to be a sinner no more. Why? Because I'm free. You don't have to go back to that stuff that you were doing before. The temporary alcohol, the temporary drugs, the temporary pornography, the temporary boyfriend or girlfriend. It's not I promise you guys, that stuff in your life that you're filled with, all that crap, whatever it may be, it could be anything. It's all considered idols in your life. If you replace those parts of your heart that are worldly idols, the things I just mentioned, maybe others, you replace them with the Lord, with His Holy Spirit, <laughs> I can't even describe how you feel. How happy you'll be. But it takes running from the stuff you're doing before. You have to run from it. Let it go and don't turn back. But I like looking at porn. I like this. I like that. That stuff is just going to kill you. Right. Right. Don't try to look on that. Don't. Don't go out of this place tonight and, and say, God, will you prove yourself to me? You don't need to do that. He's here right now. Give me the ability to be able to stand in front of you guys and do this. This is so humbling. You have no idea. You guys are amazing. Just the respect. I just, I want to show hands on this one. If you know the Lord, raise your hand. If you have a relationship with the Lord, raise your hand. There's a few people that aren't raising their hand. You guys can put your hands down. That's awesome. But you know what? Every hand in this place should be raised. Now I want to ask this. I'm just going to be bold. I don't want anybody to bow your heads. 
Close your eyes. Don't do anything. You know why? Because we're all in this together. We're all brothers and sisters. We love you guys. And I tell you what, there's several people in this crowd right now that go to current church here, and they're the exact same way I am where they are. They are going to be your brother or your sister, and they're going to love you, and they're going to care about you, and they're going to lift you up when you need it. They're the ambassadors. We're the ambassadors of that love that only Christ can bring. Now, I'm just going to be totally honest with you guys. Uh, be completely blunt, completely plain. If there's someone in here tonight that does not know the Lord, that wants to give him a try, I want you to just raise your hand right now. Anybody. There's one here, there's one here. You guys, would you guys come up here to the front? Everybody can just stand if you want.